Hi, AT from CNC at Home. As many of you might know who've watched my videos, I'm kind of a penny pincher. I like reusing stuff, not spending a whole lot when I can get away with it. And something that's happening here in October is uh, potentially a, gonna be a cost for many people. Um, Windows 10 is losing support. Um, and I'm an IT guy, so I kind of have an understanding of what that means. In a nutshell, it will continue to work as it is. That's not a problem. The issue comes in down the road because Microsoft is no longer going to support Windows 10, there won't be any of the security updates and patches for it, and it will become more vulnerable. Something like the little computer that I use to run my CNC machines, I bought a refurbed machine from Micro Center a number of years ago. Love it. It works great. It's small, and it does everything I need it to do. Unfortunately, it does not fit within Microsoft's parameters for updating to Windows 11. That doesn't mean Windows 11 wouldn't run on it. Microsoft has set some kind of a high bar. Uh, for their requirements and anyway it's not necessarily needed it's I mean they've done their thing <clears throat> so anyway I don't want to get a new computer for running my CNC machines what I have works just fine it will continue to work just fine. I typically don't do much on the internet with it. I move files back and forth. I use Lightburn on it and, uh, to drive the laser. I use a couple other different programs for driving the, uh, the, the router. So it'll continue to work. I wanted to do an experiment though to see if I could get it updated to Windows 11 to kind of get over that hurdle because it's not that bad of a machine. It's got a, an SSD, it has a good processor, it has plenty of memory. Um, so uh, one of the channels that I follow is called Cyber CPU Tech. I will put a link down in the description to his channel and to a specific video as well. In this video, he talks about how you can take an unsupported piece of hardware and get Windows 11 installed on it. And for those of you that aren't technology geeks, let me tell you this. It was very easy to do. I followed his steps pretty much exactly like he did it. Uh, the, the few prompts have changed since he did the video, but nothing that uh, you, know, that you wouldn't uh, be able to figure out on your own. I went through, I rewatched his video, did exactly what he said to do. I did it on my CNC computer that I used to drive the machines. It's now running Windows 11. Everything's fine. Boots up quickly. It's got all the Windows 11 stuff in it. So I should be good. Hopefully. <laughs> Now I have uh, three more computers to do. Um, my, my personal laptop that I do most of my work on, um, that's a Windows 10 and it keeps bugging me. So it's, it's definitely compatible. So that'll be an easy update as well. I also have a uh, computer that I use at work that is a Windows 10 box and um, it's kind of important for me to make sure that that box is, is working correctly. I will go through and do this process on that box. I also do some audio work. I have another computer for that where I run Pro Tools, which is a, a DAW, it's a digital audio workstation. It's running Windows 10. That one scares me a little more because uh, Pro Tools is very um, particular about how a system is set up, we'll say. And I'm not sure if I upgrade that to Windows 11, if the uh, Pro Tools is going to be happy with that or not. I'm going to give it a try. There's always an option to roll back. If you do it within 10 days of your update, you can always roll back to the, the prior edition of the operating system. Check out the link in the description to go to Cyber CPU Tech. Uh, he does a great job of explaining uh, what you need to do. It's easy to do. Um, a little time consuming, but not that bad. Uh, most of it, you just fire and forget. You get some stuff set, you go away, you come back, answer a couple questions, go away, come back, 
computer reboots a few times. The absolute only issue that I ran into was on the last reboot, for some reason it didn't pick up my network correctly. I have it plugged in, not using Wi-Fi. And all I had to do was restart that um, that part of the operating system. Uh, and probably rebooting would have done the same thing. And then it was fine. So anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, as always, if you like the content of our channel, think about subscribing. If you're on a Windows 10 machine that hasn't been bugging you to update to Windows 11, check out, uh, check out the, uh, the video down in the description and uh, maybe think about upgrading that to Windows 11 through an alternate path. Anyway, enjoy doing your CNC at home projects. Oops.